Hello, welcome to Dailyish for Wednesday, November 16th. It's currently zero degrees. Feels like minus six with the uh, the old wind chill. This is not a weather podcast. This is not a daily podcast. This is a very much an ish podcast, but it's brought to you by FeedPress. Visit feed.press slash dailyish today to sign up and try out FeedPress awesome hosting and blog RSS feed analytics. You can actually do everything you need for a podcast right within FeedPress now. You can submit everything from that you need right from FeedPress to iTunes, have a published podcast. Uh, so you don't even have to set up a blog if you don't want to. And they give you lots of storage, everything you need to host your your podcast for a month, monthly. You can do, you can do definitely more episodes than I've done this month, that's for sure. And you can use promo code dailyish to check out and get 10% off your first year of service with them, feed.press slash dailyish. And of course, by Patreon supporters like you, uh, patreon.com slash iChris, where you can check out how to support my efforts a little more directly. And also you'd get to watch the video version of this episode, assuming again, I always uh, preface it by saying, because I don't know while I'm, when I'm, while I'm recording, if it's all actually working properly, it feels like it is, but uh, sometimes there's gremlins and then uh, things don't work out properly. So, but it, if all goes well, there'll be a video version of this episode because I haven't done one in a long time. And uh, that's part of what I want to do for Patreon folks is a video version of the podcast, and occasionally at least. And I uh, probably should, like I've said many times, probably should have a routine. Like every Wednesday, I do a video version of Dailyish, if nothing else. So that's a thing I should probably do. But I'm not ready to commit to that yet because, um, as you know, I've been a bit silent lately um, on the podcast and. My primary excuse this this month, this well, this last week anyways, is it's been about seven days of varying amounts of sickness, primarily uh, of the <laughs> oral <laughs> variety, <laughs> things coming out the mouth that uh, you're hoping wouldn't, um, stomach bugs in our house, and uh, knock on wood and all those things, two of the five of us in the house have not gotten it. Uh, our oldest son and myself have not gotten it. Uh, everybody else has had it in varying forms. And as you can imagine, a, a, f- a four-year-old, six-year-old who, um, once they're awake and stuff, no problem getting the bucket or whatever and stuff, but uh, sometimes in the middle of the night, not always aware that that uh, things are, are moving, that are, things are escaping their, their bow, uh, mouth <laughs> as they sleep. And so then you wake up to faces etc full of things and uh, sheets full of things and uh, I'll spare you because maybe you're having breakfast while you listen to this Um, I certainly wouldn't want to listen to it although it has been a topic of discussion as you can imagine within our family for the last week Um, so hopefully we seem to be mostly on the mend there's still a couple uh, we're not sending a couple of them to school and stuff today um, just because to be safe rather than sorry and spread it around to other people which is probably how we got it in the first place because somebody you know was out and about and didn't just stay home like they should. So that's the lesson here for everybody is stay home a day or two. They say like 48 hours after the last puke. There's a common myth, I think, that, um, you know, you're only, uh, what's the word? You're only uh, spreading it. You're only um, contagious during, like before and during maybe. And once you're done, it's, you know, visible signs, symptoms and stuff are gone. Uh, but it's it's really not true because, um One kid, for example, just last puked on Friday, I think it was, and then all of a sudden Sunday night puked again. Just, it was still hanging around. And kids often aren't great barometers of knowing what's actually going on with their system because they can be like completely fine. And then, uh, yeah, all of a sudden they need to throw everything up. So as I can attest to, but I won't, again, I said I'd spare you all the details. And uh, so... So that's where I've been. As a result, this last week was supposed to be uh, the kids had Thursday, Friday, and Monday off from school. So it was supposed to be this awesome long weekend. We had something up with some friends on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night and canceled on most of that because we just ended up staying home. So, And it was actually really nice weather outside too. Um, so we did, the, it's nice, like, I mean, you can play, it's better than being like minus 30 outside, which it could be with tons of snow where you don't even want to go outside then when your kids are sick, at least now when it's, you know, it was plus 10. Um, and so we were able to get in the backyard at least a bit and, and just sort of get out of the house and breathe some fresh air and have some windows open. As you can imagine, that's uh, kind of a nice thing when the house is otherwise feeling a little bit uh, 
contagious <laughs> and smelling like yuck. And so, um, yeah, that's where life has been lately. And so now I'm trying to play catch up both on the sleep side as well as the work side. I'm um, just trying to get things going. So as you can imagine, in a house with three kids, two adults, one adult goes down with something uh, and the something obviously has to suffer, whether it's the house and li- family life or the business life and work getting done. And so it's been a bit of both, uh, depending on who you ask in the family, <laughs> which side has suffered more. Uh, but that's where we've been. So hopefully you haven't had a bad start to November. Um, we're just now, as you maybe I'll cut to, I have some the footage of uh, some snow lightly falling here a bit. Uh, we're supposed to get about five centimeters today, but it doesn't seem like it's sticking around in any real way. The ground is too warm. So, uh, but again, this is not a weather podcast. But I know there's those of you who are far away, don't even get snow or are don't even realize that snow maybe happens for some folks uh, this time of year already. And so um, that's I thought I'd shoot some video while I'm recording this of uh, snow falling in our backyard. So all that being said, maybe we'll see you next Wednesday, hopefully sooner. Um, and, uh, thank you very much for sticking around, subscribe, okay, staying subscribed, supporting me on Patreon and through this. And, uh, we've got some, uh, we're almost, oh, we're so close getting there ish with the good stuff, um, projects behind the scenes stuff that kind of building some frameworks for what's to come. Um, but I know, uh, we're Kyle and I are, are hard to work on that kind of stuff and wanting to show you guys, Uh, you folks uh, sooner than later but i just have to make sure it's ready so um in the meantime keep fit have fun body break thanks for listening have a good day bye